Welcome back, everybody. Uh, in the last video, we were working on our clean URLs, and uh, we had a user here that I want to thank for pointing out that uh, we forgot to set the active class on the uh, main navigation. So thank you, Gaz. Gaz. We'll go with one of those. <laughs> but definitely thank you. And this is uh, this is what we'll be doing. However, we're going to use the uh, the function that we set up in the previous video. So let's hop over to Aptana, go to Functions, open up Template, and we have our main nav function. Um, and let's go ahead and go in our admin, and let's open up that Functions folder, and open up Sandbox, and let's get this uh, selected function, and let's copy this, and let's open up the uh, Sandbox in the front end. Let's add that here. So this way we can use that. And uh, functions can be used within functions, which uh, becomes pretty handy. So let's go ahead and close the admin sandbox. And we're going to go to template. And this is the line that we're going to change out. So let's go ahead and we'll take this out. and replace it with our function which we called selected so selected and we need our value one which is going to be path call parts then zero then comma for our second value and this is going to be nav slug and then our return value which is going to be a string and we want that to be class equals active and there you go let's go ahead and save that head back over to our page and refresh however I forgot one important thing and uh, that has to do with scope. Since this is a function and we want to use path, path isn't defined in here so we need to send it here. So let's change page ID to path. Save that and then let's go to our template folder, open up navigation and where we're sending page ID, let's change this to path. Save that. Go back to our page and refresh. There we go. 